Hey guys, so in this video I'm going to be showing 8 advanced tricks to counter a turtling opponent. I made a video similar to this like 3 months ago, and since then the game has changed a lot. Now people expect a lot of the techniques I covered then, and a lot of the phasing tricks that I showed just don't even work anymore. Do not fear though, because everything I'm about to show is relatively new and works extremely well. For each trick, just like my advanced building and editing videos, I'll show what the trick is, how to do it, why it works, and then an in-game example. With that being said, let's start with a smart trick that Tifu has recently been using. One of the most annoying things about someone turtling, especially when they're good, is that even when you take their wall, they'll just expand into another one by one. What you can do before you start trying to replace their wall is build cones or cones and floors in each direction on top of their box. This way, when you get a sweaty little Timmy expanding it to another turtle, you already have their cone or potentially floor and cone when they don't even realize it. Now when you approach someone's one by one, just as you'd place a cone down on their floor if they don't have one already, make sure to place cones all around their box as well. If you have a ton of mats, you can and should place floors. The only problem is it's another 40 mats and a majority of the time, they'll be so surprised that you replace their cone they won't even react to turbo build the floor. This clip from Tifu shows how effective the trick is. Notice that Tifu places the cones and floors before he actually pressures the one by one his opponent is in. He manages to replace his opponent's cone, then does some building and editing to protect himself if the turtler goes for a quick shot or anyone tries to third party. After he replaces the floor and gets a nice shotgun shot off, his opponent reclaims it and starts to panic. Tifu's opponent then tries to edit out the side, which Tifu sees, and in response, edits the cone and floor he placed, and finally secures the kill on the turtler who tried to edit out the bottom. Second trick is a new trick from Speedy Gonzalez, who you probably all know and love. If you're ever trying to replace someone's cone or floor from the top of their one by one, you'll find yourself at risk against a good player who can just double edit out and kill you. There's also the risk of getting third partied from basically every angle you can think of. Speedy's trick is to box yourself up when you're trying to take their cone, then edit a right side door on the wall you're facing. If you edit the door and position yourself at the center of the wall, you can actually hit their cone and replace it as your own. Not only are you completely out of sight from the person inside the one by one, so if they double let it out, you're completely safe, but there's also no longer a threat of getting third partied. Even the only plausible angle where you get third partied from, which would be directly in front of where you open the door, that's blocked off by the door, so you no longer have to worry about any third parties at all. This obviously won't be as fast or as clean as just replacing the cone, but in a World Cup qualifier match when you need to play safe, expending an extra 50 mats to ensure you don't die is definitely worth it. Speedy also found that if you edit the nearest tile on the floor by the door, you can crouch on top of the elevated piece of the floor edit and then hit the floor piece underneath the cone. So if you replace the cone but want to protect yourself from a potential floor edit, you can just leave the cone down and then replace the floor from underneath. If this isn't overpowered, then I don't know what is. The third trick is why you see every pro drop down on ramps or cones instead of floors to replace walls. If you're standing on a floor when pressuring someone's turtle, any good player will edit out and trap kill you. I guess this alone could kind of count as its own trick when you're the person inside the turtle getting pressured. I've seen clicks do this to players in the World Cup qualifiers and pro players like in this clip here. There's really nothing you can do to prevent this unless you place a ramp or a cone on the floor that you're on. So make sure anytime you're up against a good player and are dropping down to replace their wall, build a ramp or cone. Now, if they were to edit out, they can't place a ramp over you because there's a cone or ramp there already. If they try to, they'll just run at you like a chicken with their head cut off and you can get an easy kill for yourself. The fourth trick is something I covered in my last advanced tips and tricks video, but it's so useful I wanted to show it again. What you do is place a ramp over your head, and as you pressure your opponent's wall, you turbo build a ramp. You heard that correctly, turbo build a ramp, not a wall. This way when your opponent sees you sitting there hitting the wall or just sitting there with your blueprints out, he'll make a quick edit on you thinking you're turbo building a wall. The whole time you've been turbo building a ramp though, and now you blocked his shot and can edit the ramp he placed through the edit he made in his wall and get a free shot yourself. From your opponent's perspective, he thinks you're a sitting duck and can make an easy edit play on, but he didn't know you're an It's Jarian subscriber. This trick was popularized by Atlantis Kuna, who you guys will see a lot in this video. We can see Kuna executed perfectly in this clip here, and now you guys know why it's called the Kuna Classic.
This trick can also work when you're trying to replace a floor on the top of a 1x1, so your opponent will think you're trying to build a floor, but when they edit, you again turbo build the ramp over them and then get an easy shot off after you edit it. Just realize the ramp blocking their shot is dependent on where your opponent is in their 1x1, so if they get too close, they'll phase through or it won't hit them and you're dead. Now you guys know how to pull off the Kuna Classic and how to counter it like Vilex does here. Fifth trick are two different edits you can try to get nice peeks on someone who's turtling. These should be used when you have someone inside there one by one and you already replaced their walls. So both of you are kind of just watching each other and your opponent is waiting for you to make an edit on them. By now, the normal window edit or even top row edit is overused and will get you killed because of the shotgun delay that for some reason still exists. The first edit you can try is editing a Dorito on the upper right of your wall. This will allow you to jump up and get a sick angle on the person stuck in the 1x1. One one. The reason it's so effective is your opponent only has a small window to get a shot back off on you while you're still in midair. They're also at a disadvantage because it's a left hand peek for them and a right hand peek for you. Right hand peeks are extremely strong in Fortnite because there's no shoulder swapping, so make sure you abuse this as much as possible. The other edit you should learn is editing the entire two columns to your right and then the top piece of the column you haven't edited yet. This results in a tiny little wall that you can crouch behind and use to surprise your opponent with a cheeky shot. This isn't as protected as the other angle, but will definitely catch your opponent by surprise. Also just realize with both of these edits, you can shoot and then reset the edit to block any return fire as well. Here's Kuna using both of these edits and angles to destroy a turtling little Timmy. Sixth on our list is another trick from Kuna. Again, this is already when you replace the turtling opponent's wall. A majority of times, winning these situations comes down to mind games. A good way to bait your opponent and make them put their guard down is to start healing with any heals you have. Then, when they either start healing themselves or take out their pickaxe, you can quickly edit and kill them. Make sure the edit is quick and as you finish it, you swap to your shotgun because if you're too slow, it won't work as well. Kuna shows off this trick here with a clean edit. Just remember that you want your opponent to see you healing. Kuna repeatedly builds a wall to make sure he doesn't take damage, but in between each build, he's baiting by popping a mini in his opponent's face. This also works if you don't have any heals. Instead, just reload a weapon. The louder and more obvious the reload, the better, so do it with an RPG or a sniper if you can, but a shotgun or AR works too. In this clip, Kuna uses an RPG to bait his opponent and make him put his guard down. The second to last trick is another one I show from my last advanced tips and tricks video, but it relates to the video pretty well and is just too damn good to not show. The trick is to build a cone at any corner of the turtling player's 1x1, then edit the far tile to connect to the corner of their 1x1 like this. With this angle on the edited cone, you now have access to pressure four parts of their box. You can hit the two walls, the cone on top, and the floor underneath their cone. It's basically impossible for anyone to turbo build four places at once, so you'll easily be able to replace at least one part of their build and pressure them until they die. Even if the person turtling tries to edit out, you can floor them and then build up yourself for protection. No matter which side they try to come out, you can just retain high ground and pressure. My advice is to go for the floor first after pressuring both of their walls. That's the last place they'll think you're replacing after you hit both of their walls, and this will be the key to catching them off guard. The 8th and final trick is a phasing technique to get into a 1x1 one one from the side. What you want to do is pickaxe the wall until it's one hit, place a cone, and then edit the three tiles that aren't the bottom one closest to you. Then jump and break the wall as the edited cone you jumped into propels you forward through their wall. Kuna did this but actually built a ramp as he phased through to block any damage from the turtler, then edited and secured the kill. From this I think you guys are starting to understand why I keep using this madman as an example. So if these 8 tips and tricks helped you guys out, be sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and turn on post notifications. 
The Ducky One Too Mini giveaway has officially started, so go right now to my Twitter and check out how to enter. All the information and steps for how to win will be in my pinned tweet. Basically, you just have to follow my Twitter, follow my Instagram, retweet the giveaway tweet, and then tag two friends in it. Also, I want to thank everyone who's using my code. The giveaway was funded entirely through supporter creator money, so make sure if you are using my code, you do enter the giveaway to win yourself a Ducky One Too Mini. Otherwise, that's it from me, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Later. Produced by the game. Awesome.